Hi there, I'm Pete Scargill and this is a short demo of Big Timer. Big Timer is a node for Node Red. So to explain that, we're on a uh, browser, Chrome, as it happens in Windows. Uh, we're looking at Node Red running on, in this case, a Raspberry Pi. Within Node Red, there are some built in nodes or blocks. And the section you see on the left called Scargill is a little section of my uh, various nodes which I've written for Node Red, which you can easily add to your own Node Red. So we're going to talk about Big Timer. Uh, the message says it all when you hover over it. Probably the ultimate Node Red timing node. So let's uh, let's examine that. I'm going to drag Node Red Big Timer onto the screen in order to um, look at it. And see what it does. Instead of fastening it to a flashing light or something, I'm going to output to a debug node. Now you can see over on the right here we have the debug window. So anything I send out to that debug node will go into the window. Let, let me just demonstrate that, shall I? With an inject node which can inject a timestamp. I'm going to drag that to there. I'm going to run it and I'm simply going to click on the timestamp and as you can see uh, the output of the timestamp goes into the debug node and comes out uh, in this window all right so I'm going to take the output of big timer the first output and feed it to uh, this output now a recent feature of um, node red is the ability to put descriptions on inputs and outputs and I think one mine's one of the first nodes to do it so if you hover over these, they will actually give you a very short description of, of what they do. Uh, as you can see, some of the standard nodes don't do this yet. They'll catch up eventually, I guess. Uh, so in order to use Big Time, I'm going to double click on it. And that opens up a window. The very first thing you have to do is put in your longitude and latitude, which you can get straight out of Google Maps so that it knows where you are so that it can understand concepts like dusk and dawn without that information it can't do that so we're going to call this one big timer i can change that name we're going to have it come on at dusk and off at 11 o'clock at night say there are lots of lots of options there but 11 o'clock at night will do i could add an offset to this now why would i want to add an offset in minutes to the off time well i wouldn't because that's a fixed time but dusk as you realize uh will vary depending on where you are so you can say right well i'll i'll have the output come on at 30 minutes after uh dusk but in this case we'll leave that as is the output of this node is typically designed to feed uh mqtt but it's just text it can it can go it can be used as you wish so the output will typically comprise of a topic and a payload. We'll call the topic my timer. The on message would be on because you have an on state of a timer and an off state of a timer. The text, which you'll see the use of or the potential use of later, will just say uh, turning the light on. You needn't fill this in for now. Okay, and timeout, which I'll describe later for manual override, is, is uh, 1 for 40 minutes. But you can just leave the defaults there. Similarly, you can leave defaults for special days of the year and special weekdays of the month. Uh, you might, for example, want a light or something to come on on Christmas Day. Or well, you can do all of that with these two, but we'll leave them at defaults. I want this operation to happen every day of the week. Uh, obviously, I can untick certain days. Uh, every month of the year except for January, see? And I'm not going to bother about things like banning on and even days, I can do. Um, the output normally would change. You would normally have an output when the state changes. So if the, if the timer goes to on, you would get an output. If the timer goes to off, you would get an output. By saying repeat output by default here, I'm saying send this out every minute regardless. Send the message out every minute. Okay, I don't have to do that. And also, I'd like a message out when the node starts up. So let's see what all of that has done for us. We'll deploy. 
and the timer is off for 8 hours 58 minutes because it's just lunchtime here. A message has been sent out uh, where the payload is off. In 8 hours and 58 minutes, a message will go out that says on. Uh, meanwhile, every minute, because of the way we've set this up, that off message will be repeated. Now, a timer like that's great, but not very flexible. So let's let's add some overrides. Uh, uh, injecting text. Now, you wouldn't normally do this. This is just for testing. You would normally have some input from, I don't know, a remote control, a mobile phone, something or other. In this case, uh, the override is on. I'm going to make a few of these. I'm going to copy that and paste. We'll call this one off. This one auto. And in this one, we'll have a manual. A quick manual burst, let's see, timer five seconds. Right, I'm going to join all of these to Big Timer's input. All of this usually takes a lot longer to explain than do. And there, as you can see, our timer is sitting mining its own business off for eight hours and 57 minutes. If we want to have the light or whatever it is come on manually, we can press on. That's manual override. You can see it says temporary override on. Uh, how about off? Yep, you can set the output off manually. And when you're done, if you want to, you can either wait for that little timeout, which was down here, to time out, or you can just go back to auto. Simple as that. Okay, how about that that timer was set to some kind of sprinkler, and you've decided you want the sprinkler on for five seconds? Well, so normally big timer only checks every minute to keep resources down. Uh, so it, it, every 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 minute it comes on, it has a check of all of those rules and sets some output. Uh, this is a special case here where it will speed up and start checking every second. So if you watch what happens here, timer 5, 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and 5 and off. And that's your timer. Um, and again, because I've got that repeat on the output, we saw five of those. If that wasn't set, you would only see the first on and then the off. So you've got a fully automated timer, and they can be cascaded. And you have um, a range of manual overrides. That, of course, uh, is not the entire story. So let's just have a look. What we're really looking at here is the payload. Uh, you realize what's coming out of these things is an object. In this case, uh, message payload string on just as before. Let's, however, now take a look at the second output. Now, I'm going to freeze that again. In this case, we've got a complete object. And there are various bits that you can use or ignore. Entirely up to you. The payload says naught on the second output. So it would be 1 or naught, depending on whether the output was on or off. Topic is um, status. The state is off override. The name is Big Timer. And in minutes, there are various um, useful pieces of information. Time from midnight till sunrise, sunset, all the rest of it. And so that's the second output. And obviously, you could get message dot sunrise if you wanted. Let's have a look. At the third output, uh, will we turn that on and freeze? All right, we're back to a simple payload, but this time the payload is that message here. 
So you can use that payload uh, to send that to some kind of speech system. Uh, and if that speech system provided feedback, say on your mobile phone, when you press manual on, you could have it say turning the light on. So it's entirely up to you what you use that for. That's what I use it for, uh, audio feedback. So that's big timer. It can be used uh, very simply without any manual overrides, just an output as a timer, or you can start to make it more and more complicated um, as need be. There is a lot more information, of course. Um, it can get more complex than that if you wish. And I'm putting a link in the video uh, for you to go to to find out more information. If you like this video, please uh, share it, like it, do uh, whatever you can to help promote this um, and my blog. That would be much appreciated.